jail guards get bribed. They give keys to male inmates in the jail. So the male inmates can go to the other side of the jail and rape the female inmates in the facility. Let's put up the pictures of the individuals at the center of this now investigation. Clark County Sheriff Jamie Knoll and former jail officer David Lowe. They are at the center of a civil rights lawsuit. This is in Clark County, Indiana. A civil rights lawsuit is being filed on behalf of eight women who allege they were sexually assaulted at the Clark County Jail. The lawsuit against Clark County Sheriff Jamie Knoll, former jail officer David Lowe and other unknown jail officers. Let me give you some background to this. The lawsuit alleges an ex corrections officer gave male inmates keys to access the female side of the jail, which allegedly led to attacks, threats and rapes behind bars. The lawsuit calls it a night of terror. The lawsuit claims the 2021 incident on October 3rd and October 24th started with a $1,000 bribe behind bars from David Lowe. David Lowe is the officer who was working. A now former corrections officer who's facing a separate felony criminal charge, okay? So he gets a $1,000 bribe, by the way, he's already admitted to it. He gets a $1,000 bribe in order to allow male inmates to rape female inmates. This is sick, but there's more. With the keys, the inmates are accused of entering the part of the jail housing female inmates. The female inmates were then allegedly harassed, threatened, assaulted and raped. The lawsuit alleges surveillance cameras captured the male inmates entering the female inmate cell. And the incident lasted for hours. No jail officer on duty came to the women's aid. Now, let me highlight something right here. While Lowe was in fact fired right after this incident, he was not charged. While Lowe will probably be the one who takes the heat all the way, the reality is the entire shift was in on it. You see, the place where the sale was located is actually under 24 hour surveillance being watched by deputies. Those deputies for basically a day decided to ignore, completely ignore the rapes they saw in front of them. They decided to ignore the fact that male inmates were walking around with guard keys going inside of women's cells in order to rape them. They ignored it, they're still working there. The suit alleges that after the incident, the women who complained were punished by jail staff. Once again, indicative of their complicit action by protecting and covering this crime up. The lawsuit also alleges that the violation of the plaintiff's constitutional rights was the result not only of a single bad actor, Mr. Lowe, but also due to Systemic failure on behalf of the Clark County Sheriff. There was another lawsuit filed June 21. And that lawsuit, it actually involves 20 women, okay? 20 women listed as plaintiffs. In that federal lawsuit, the women also claim the alleged attack by male prisoners went uninterrupted for hours. Women were harassed, sexually assaulted, threatened, and completely terrified, said Bart Butto, uh, an attorney for one of the plaintiffs. When I met with each and every one of these women and they broke down repeatedly, you get the impression, the understanding of what these women went through. Now, uh, this boils my blood. Everybody under that sheriff, including the sheriff, should have a federal investigation. You have the prerequisite, it's a civil rights issue. It's a deprivation of rights. You can even do this under a few other statutes that are available when you eliminate a person's ability to move, do process, you are ripping this away. The DOJ has to investigate, these people have to be arrested, not just Lowe, not just the sheriff, but everybody who was involved in this. And we do not get 
to turn away from this. This is a mass rape. Just because these women are in a facility, just because they are temporarily incarcerated, does not mean they traded their humanity in order to be in that facility. They are still humans. And these women were raped in mass in this jail. Now, if we can turn away from that, if we can ignore that, if that doesn't make us feel a certain way, we are lost. We are worse than I have imagined. Somebody needs to go to jail. And right now, nobody has. So I'm going to stay on this for the entire year or more until a proper investigation is done. Being thoughts on this. Yeah, I mean, the unfortunate reality is this is at the root of the prison system that exists in the United States, right? Some people say it's for correction, some people say it's for punishment, some people say it's for rehabilitation. But the foundational root, the structure, the design of the prison.